Hello, hello, testing. La la la. Okay then. Hello everyone, this is Figly Cackleback, and welcome back to Lie Eat. Now, last time we left off at a very good spot here. There was like a wolf scream, I believe, and we're just about to get to the plot here. Let's do this. It's all quiet. Where did it come from? I suspect this place back? No. I don't know. Where is it come from? No, we can't go back that way. Maybe we'll check the houses here. Sheesh. That woke me up. Gosh, I'm sleepy. Going to see what happened? I'm sure you would be fine, but take care out there. No. I heard a loud sound. Will you be alright going out there? Meow, meow, meow. I should be fine. She's not here, so she was the one. I bet it's this way. The mysterious pathway. Do you? No good. She's gone. Really? I guessed it! Someone died. Really? Hey, she's wounded. On the neck. Yeah, you're right. Hmm, looks like... Bite marks. Uh-oh. Well, what to do here? I'll have to tell the winged infomen, I suppose. What are we gonna do? We'll give them a call, much as I hate to see him. It's their job to deal with this kind of thing, after all. Dead. That kind of got me off guard, though. Oh, my. Well. Well, then. Hello, we have um, some news. Something happened? Someone died, probably murdered. Huh? It was the informant in the hat. Lend me your phone so I can call you know who. I'll make the call. They'll be here tomorrow morning at the earliest. Go to your place, lock the door, and stay inside. Glad you understand. Won't be asking for any money later, right? You're so rude. I just don't want to lend you anything important to my work. I wouldn't stand for it if you sneakily made off with the personal info on this phone. You trust that little... What are we gonna do about her? Just gonna have to leave her until they arrive. Yes, if she was indeed murdered, you wouldn't want to make any missteps on the crime scene, yes? You're leaving her like that? Can't do much else. We're no experts. Experts. Still, though, it's hard to believe the hat her was done in. Wasn't she really strong? But she could also go down quick if someone got behind her. Oh, would she? Is that what happened when you first met? Still, not enough info. We'll gather more tomorrow. Oh, and just a at a glance, it looked like a. It looked like there were bite marks on the neck. So you think this town's vampire story? Still think it's up in the air as to whether that's true. Hmm, how puzzling. Let's think it over carefully tomorrow. Good idea. Alright, see you. Take care. 
meow. So I see another meow. I'm just gonna go. Can you get to sleep? I don't know. If you really can't fall asleep, you can sleep over here. Hmm. As if you're actually that dejected. Good night. Good night. So, that's that w scream. Was that actually the scream? Or was that like the wolf attacking? Uh, well, I guess that lady's dead now. Uh, I thought someone else would die, actually. I didn't think she would die. I had a hint that she would die. But in the end, someone did die. Death. That informant with the hat just stopped moving. And I'd only just been talking with her. Will I even get to sleep tonight? I might not. Ow! Finally, we're leaving. Get ready. I'm sleepy. I've got more where that came from. I'm up. Morning. Good. Let's go. I think there's a slap. Whoa, what the frig? Who are all you people? Oh my gosh. Man, this is good music. Long time no see. Yeah, to be expected though. You're always around when these things happen. Oh, is he suspicious? He's suspicious. A child? Hey, let me make this clear. She's not my kid. Whoa. Captain, I'm all done with... Gasp. Yo. You again? I don't suppose you're the culprit in this case. And that child there, isn't she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping? Where does it end with you? Dragon? She hatched from an egg. Oh, I skipped it. I didn't mean to. And hey, just try and prove that fraud incident. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? Calm down a bit. Calm down a bit, Brett. But, as you wish. Hmm, indeed. She does seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that, huh? He's a dragon? Right. Forgive me. Hello there, miss. I am Neil Massfield. Captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brett. And he and I are both dragons. Same as you. Interesting. Two dragons. I've never met any other dragons before. Hey, I'm Effie. Excuse me. I'm Athena. Call me Effie. Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. Captain, unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect even these two. Hmm. Thanks. So long, then. So, those guys are dragons too. First time you met them, huh. Well, I have been avoiding them as much as I can. But when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to gather info. You can go play, I guess. Okay. You know the drill. Don't wander off too far. I know. Alright, I'll go to see her first. I think I know who her is. Hello, her. Morning, Mr. Swindler. I'm Leo here. So any new info? Right. I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. She had blonde hair? Looks blue to me in the picture. Well, not, not the big picture, but a little character icon. This is an old story. There was a family of vampires who lived in a certain town. They were very gentle souls, yet there came to be many cases of missing townspeople. But then one day, those who had gone missing were found in that family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was that this town? No, this happened elsewhere. Okay. Afterward, the family was executed for being horrifying vampires. 
but it seemed one from the family. It seems one from the family was able to quietly escape from the town, and they came here and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, decades later, another townsperson was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything about that. The pages were ripped right out. Ah, oh, that's right. This was written in a book. A diary, perhaps? By someone named Geo Rigfire. Rigfire. Geo Rigfire. Did I see that name somewhere? Seriously? Then it was the same as what I found. <sighs> in short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. Right, I'll go check with them. <clears throat> yeah, what? My payment? I already knew all that stuff. What? You should have told me that first. Here. What's this now? A tea cookie. I could have told you that. I'm asking you why you're showing me this. What's this? Does an informant like you really not know about these cookies? Huh? Well, huh. Can't believe there'd be anyone who doesn't. I know. Of course I know about these cookies. From Milk Tea Town? Yes. Only one baked every two months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know all about these cookies, do you? Believe me, yes. Then you must know the value of them, right? I'll take it as payment. That you will, counting on you if you find any new info. Yes, thank you. I think I just paid her with cookies. I think their mistress should be, should maybe be re-educated, starting with the basics. I must admit, on numerous occasions that the mistress is a bit slow on the uptake. But as such, I do get to see some amusing things. As long as I get my due pay, I have no real qualms. Not a bad attitude. The cat's nice. Meow. Who are you guys? Oh, hello. That's it? Looks like both of the victims were taken out. Seems like I uh, have my voice. Seems like the marks on the neck were from some sharp animal things or something. What the heck? It's noise that the captain can fly, but we're not dragons ourselves, so it's rough keeping up with them. To ho ho. Heard a wolf comes around here. It's hard to tell what animals are thinking, so they're hard to fight. This place is so empty, huh? I mean, it's not like I'm here for fun, but the captain and vice captain are doing most everything. So if it's not a major change, maybe we can disperse within the day. What are they wearing? The leader's pretty lazy. He usually just orders people, and I've never seen him fight. He's so mysterious. Well, that's a dragon for you, I guess. <laughs> I'm assuming those are guys. Some of them are guys. They look like they're wearing maid suits. I might be wrong though. That's what it looks like to me. Well, if he's dead. Oh. Guess I can't take anything. Let's go see the body. Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of sad. Like dot dot dot. Okay, time to see these guys. Suspicious of you. Wait, who are you? Oh, it's Keith. It seems someone was attacked. Even after my insisting they refrain from going out at night. I'd like to ask you some things about that. Oh, and who are you two? I said I was a traveler, but the truth is... So this makes you a detective. Yeah, sorry I had to hide it. All right, I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book, then I nodded off. After that, I was woken by a person's scream, then I locked the front door, since it would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. I see. No, I think the wolf might be just a baloney. I think it's baloney. I think someone else is gonna die. <laughs> now then. Are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? Well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend. But it was long ago, and that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye.
this guy's a terrible liar. But for now, fine. Next, his sister. Liar. Even I can tell that's a lie. Can you do it? I know, I know, I know what room his sister is and I just want to see if anything else changed. No. A broom. Stuff rabbit. Wait, is that a stored... A key? That might be useful. Hello. Hello, mind if we talk for a... No. No. I see. Oh. No? Really? Your sister won't talk. I'll gladly assist if you need anything more from me. Right, thank you. Kids are tough to deal with. Incidentally, the design for the detective badge got changed last year, didn't it? They changed it a lot. Wish I know how. Wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. Guess I'll go ask him some things too. I'm assuming him. Oh, what do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating, I hope. Yeah. As you saw for yourself, the victim, Carol Deletta, was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds, but not much bleeding. It seems not much blood at all, in fact. So then, what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Oh, it looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice. Tastes a little sour, I guess. Probably love berry. You licked it? That's the, that was the fastest way. Captain, my I recommend not licking everything you see. Even if it were poison, I would... Oh, forget it. What about that wolf? Wolf, huh? We've only looked a little, but we haven't found one yet. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. Red. So, love berries. Maybe I should fish around for a little bit more. I bet Effie will bring in something. Hmm. Will she? Found another. More people, more lies, so weird. Oops. Wait, so there's lots of lies? That means something fishy is going on. Tasty, not very big though. Hmm, what now? Maybe I'll read a book. Yeah, okay, I got to practice my reading. I'm doing my job, you're a lie. You're not doing your job at all. You're slacking off. Uh. Holy smokes. Investigating the area. Lies. Strong one. Got an HD. I think that face 23. It's a little bit hard to see. I leveled up. What is this? There's not enough to go around. Lie! That's a new one. Another lie! That's it. Yay! Reading books, I assume the library? I'll read this one right here. Let's ba ba vampire. That's not it. Vampire. Va va vampire. I give up. Can't read it at all, huh? A photo. Some kind of old. Some kind of old. Seems kind of old. It's a man, a boy, and a girl. Something on the back. God, I can't read it. Is it okay if I take this? Papa says... Blah, 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 blah. Papa says that when you get your hands on something, it's yours. So I'm taking it. I'm bored of books. Let's go somewhere else. Yep. I haven't read a book in a long time either. That's the truth. I should actually consider reading a book. Let's see. Hello. 
is going to put on significant weight again. Munch. What? You want some of these too? I do? Hmm. But, well, hmm. Alright. But only if you tell me info or equivalent value. Info? Info. Information. This is business, my dear. You must repay me for what I'm giving you. Hmm. What would be good? Let's see. Ah! How about him? The big one. Tell me his weakness. Weakness? He can't handle fear. He gets woozy right after. Oh? Also, he told me he doesn't really like spicy food. I see. And he lies all the time. I know that! Uh, so if someone... If I somehow summoned him, and somehow gave him fear and something spicy, I can defeat him? That's true. You're smart, lady. Here's your cookie thingy. Say thanks. Yay! <laughs> Unequal standing with a little girl. Unequal standing with a little girl. She has much to learn. <laughs> that cat. Probably my favorite character. MVP right there is cat. Hello. On a stroll? Yes. I see. Don't wander off too far, please. Where is Leo? I think I'm supposed to find him. Effie. You who? Not gonna play outside then? Outside? Well, I can't leave my room. Because my brother tells me not to. Oh, well, let's talk then. Okay. So you never left this room? Well, it's only when outsiders are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Night. Only at night time. Suspicious. You seem like a killer. Why? I don't know, but my brother goes out a lot at night. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna suspect these guys. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I don't know. Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this. It was stuck in the cover of a book in the library. That's me and my brother. Oh. Hmm, it's kind of faded, but now that you mention it, it does look like you, Richter. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah. It's my name and brother's, and the other one is our father? Maybe. It says jail. Jail? Jail? So she can read. Nice. My brother said there weren't any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother a liar? Yeah, he never tells me anything. It's really fun to get to talk with you, Effie. Whenever anyone comes, my brother says not to talk. Leo tells me to shut up all the time, too. So we're buds. Yeah. That's right. There's been a lot of gossiping outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You don't know? Someone, uh, died last night. I see. Again. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Will you talk with me again? Yeah. Sure. <gasps> she moved! Oh my gosh, she moved! The story is progressing. It's definitely him. I think it's that guy right there. Why? He's the killer. Why? Wait. What am I supposed to do now? Oh wait, he said he was gonna go fishing. mind I thought am I just stuck in this area can I not go anywhere else other game no check every house It's you. On your own now? Yep. I see. Has he done anything to you? Hmm? Why do you ask? People and dragons work to working together is a very rare occurrence. Hmm. How about... How much do you know about dragons? I don't know. I mean, I don't really know anything about myself. I see. Then I'll tell you what I know. Horns. Horns and wings. Are you able to put these out freely? Well, I can, but it wears me out, and they're really wonky shaped. 
itself still unstable, and it doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force, but what are the symbols of being a dragon? Stop making my face like it's really tasty. Eat it all, I don't mind. Mm, you cop guys have really good cra cake. Crake. Cop cake. Cop cake. Cop cake. Cop cake? Cop cake. Cop as in police. There are many different kinds of dragons. I can't recall ever seeing two who were like. And you're. I eat lies. I can taste flavor. But if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. I wonder why. I like a unique kind of dragon then. It seems that dragons are born for a special reason. We're trying to find out that, what that is ourselves, but we still don't know. Are there lots of dragons? Yes, there are a few dozen in the custody of police. Custardy? Hmm? Oh right, we're protecting them. Protecting. As I've said before, it's very rare that dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one which corrupt crops rates, cop rates, cooperates with people. But I don't much trust humans. From what we know, there's a good chance of dragon eggs appearing before humans. But then they're sold as attractions or as slaves, and many have been stolen. Slaves? Attractions? Being forced to work for others, and not being treated well. Does that give you a picture? When I was born, too, I was locked in the cage for a show. But the captain saved me. After that, he let me on the force. We also work to rescue dragons like Brett, who are being treated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Hmm? Because they're rare, we're dragons, so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon like you who trusts people and works with them, though I certainly don't consider him a person that's at all worth trusting. Brett? Still, if you believe in him, in Theobald Leonhardt, we won't interfere. But I would recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So try not to get bullied? Yes, but there's a difference of lifespan. Dragons are ordinarily rather long-lived, so it's very likely he would die before you. I've experienced this myself. I just said that very casually. So, if you should ever be left all alone, you can come to us. We'll then gladly protect you in this stead. Got it. I'm sorry if I've given you sad thoughts with that remark, but it is a long while off. Until then, you should cherish, cherish every day, minute, and second with those you value. Okay, I'll cherish Papa. Hey, that thing you said, tell bald lion pants or something. Is that Papa's real name? Theobald Leonhardt? Don't he tell you, don't tell me he didn't even tell you his real name. Theobald Leonhardt. That's one pathetic name. Thanks. Right, sorry to prattle on. You have our support. Papa, hmm. Does he make her call him father? I hate that guy. But if anything happens, I'll assist you. A huge sword. Nothing's inside. Interest. So this is where you got to run. Leo! Edit some good fun. Anything interesting? Uh, well, I did this and this and this and this. I see. I'll make a note of this photo and the rest. I wonder if this will be enough. What are we doing? Talking to a certain liar. Let's go. Hey, Leo. What? Do you like me? Name three things I like. Uh, money, beer, and woman? Correct. And I'm a woman. No, you're just a brat. Yeah. So do you hate me? Yeah, I hate your guts. What? Idiot, if I hated you, I wouldn't be carting you around with me, would I? Oh, you lied about hating me, so that means you like me. I like you too. Well, that was a lie too. Which is it? The opposite of lying about a not lie which is the anti-opposite of a fakely untrue lie. The opposite of a not lie, uh, we're going. <laughs> wow. Hello, liar. Gotta save, actually. I haven't saved in a bit. I believe I've saved one hour and 17 minutes played of this game. Yawn. Oh, excuse me, it's getting dark already, so I'm feeling drowsy. I like to talk some. Is now alright? Yes, though my brain might be a bit slow, do you insist, detective? Detective? Leo's a scam. He got slapped. Good. Now then, 
I'd like you to repeat what you told me earlier today. Also, if you could tell me what happened after you heard the scream. Uh, last night I was reading, then I nodded off. I heard a scream, so... I heard a scream which woke me up. Then, I locked the front door. I never went outside at all. It would have been dangerous if the wolf got inside. You told some lies there. I'll explain after we take care of this. Hmm, he smells like lies, but I don't know. If you're not sure, check my notes and remember what you heard. Why do you never tell me the answer when you know it already, Leo? Because you'll never progress from idiocy if I just tell you. Makes sense. I'll do my best. Okay, what notes? Rachel doesn't talk or leave her room because her brother told her not to. Rachel was told by her brother that no old records remain. After the sound last night... Really? After the sound last night, Keith went outside. Hardly any blood, only juice on the wall. Almost no animals around the town. So, I just nodded off. I never went out at all. I locked the front doors. The wolf is dangerous. Okay. We're gonna save it right here. And I think we're gonna call this an episode. So thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment on how you think I'm doing so far if you're enjoying this. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it. So that's it for today, and this is Figly Kakovac, signing out.